Welcome to our Blender Geometry Nodes tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to make a procedural electrocardiogram-like animation with Blender's Geometry Nodes. At first, select the cube and open the Geometry Node Editor and create a new Geometry Node group. We don't want the cube geometry, but a long strip of many faces. So we create a grid and make it super long and thin. Then we add a lot of geometry on the long side. This is our baseline. We want to change the Z position of the vertices, so we add a set position between the geometry and the output. Because we want to change only the Z position, we create a position node and split up the different axes to combine them again to be able to extract one definite axis. In general, we want to create a noise texture to create the spikes, then make them a bit more contrasty with a color ramp and add a math multiply to be able to control it. Then add a vector math add to sum up the old Z positions and the new noise pattern values. To get control over the noise pattern, we add a vector rotate, vector math add, and vector math multiply node between the noise texture and the position input. The vector rotate rotates the noise pattern, the add node shifts it along an axis, and multiply amplifies the intensity. Now we can set a pattern which fits our needs. But now the pattern is everywhere on the grid. We want the noise only on some spots. Most of the grid should be flat. That's where we use a wave texture, where white and black faces are shown alternately. Black is 0 and white is 1. So when we multiply our noise pattern with the wave pattern, there should be an alternating pattern of a flat line and noisy spikes. So we add a wave texture and make the contrast super hard with a color ramp on constant. In front of the wave texture, we put a vector math add to move the wave pattern. And in front of the vector math add, we put a vector math multiply connected with the points locations of the grid to zoom on a wavy spot of the noise pattern. Now we have to move the noise and the wave texture at the same time. So we would use a vector math add, but the slider is super sensitive. Because of that, we use a vector math multiply and multiply our input with 0.001. Now we can move the whole animation on the line. Just keyframe the positions of the vector math multiply node and you have the animation. If you want to change the material to a glowing green, just create an emission material and use the set material node at the end to select that material. Activate Bloom in the EV Render tab to give it a glow. And that's it. Have fun geonoding and see you soon.